It is with great sadness today I am here to advise that two children have died as a result of the injuries sustained in this morning's knife attack. Nine other children have been injured and six of them are in a critical condition. All those injured have suffered stab wounds sustained during the attack and two adults are also in a critical condition after being injured during the incident. A 17-year-old male from Banks in Lancashire, who is originally from Cardiff, has been arrested on suspicion of murder and attempted murder. And he's been taken to a police station where he will be interviewed by detectives. My officers were called to reports of a stabbing at 11.47 this morning and at a dress in Southport. When they arrived, they were shocked to find that multiple people many of whom were children, had been subjected to a ferocious attack and had suffered serious injuries. It is understood that the children were attending a Taylor Swift event at a dance school when the offender, armed with a knife, walked into the premises and started to attack inside the children. We believe that the adults who were injured were bravely trying to protect the children who were being attacked. As a mum and a nana, I can't begin to imagine the pain and suffering that the families of the victims are going through at this moment in time, and I wish to send my heartfelt condolences to them. Our specialist family liaison officers are providing support to the families of the deceased children and the children who were injured at this moment in time. And we'll be working with our partners, including Sefton Council, to provide that wider trauma support to those who've been affected by this incident. The investigation is in its early stages and the motivation for the incident remains unclear. However, Counter-Terrorism Police North West have offered their support to Merseyside Police as the full circumstances of what has happened are being established. At this moment in time, the investigation is not being treated as terrorist related. I would appeal to anyone who's witnessed anything or who has information that could help us the investigation to contact us on Crime Stoppers 0800 treble 5 treble 1. And anyone who's been affected by this incident can contact Victim Care Merseyside Service for help and support. Our hub of locally trained staff are here to provide free and emotional support and practical tailored advice to you. You can contact the Victim Care Hub Merseyside on 0808 175 3080. Thank you. My name is Dave Kitchen. The events today are just truly awful. And I know the whole country is, is deeply shocked at what they've seen and what they've heard. And I know I speak for everybody in the whole country in saying our thoughts and condolences with the victims, their families their friends and the wider community and it's almost impossible to imagine the grief that they're going through and the trauma that they're going through. I do want to thank the emergency services of Merseyside Police who've had to respond to the most difficult of circumstances today. My message is really to convey what they would want me to convey which is their thoughts and condolences to, to um, the families in particular, it is impossible to imagine what they are going through right now. 
um, the wider community, the friends, and of course, the victims who've got terrible injuries. So I think everybody would want to send those thoughts and condolences. Um, but I do also think about the emergency responders because uh, they have responded to an awful incident today and I want to thank them for the professionalism that they have shown in doing so. Well, I think it's just unimaginable what has happened, this devastating and horrific attack. And I think all of our thoughts will be with the families who have been affected, uh, the loved ones who have been lost and the children who are injured. Uh, and it's really important that they get the, all the support they need. I've been meeting with some of the first responders, the emergency services, the police, uh, fire service and uh, paramedics who were there yesterday and who had to respond with great bravery to make sure that more lives were not lost and I thank them for the work that they did. Uh, there is also a serious criminal investigation underway now but everyone's thoughts will be with those, those injured children and just praying for them. Well, there would be deep distress right across the country as well as here in Southport for uh, this appalling, just truly horrific attack because it, it's beyond every parent's worst nightmare. You had a, a what should have been a, a children's party having fun in the beginning of the summer holidays could then turn into something so devastating. There's obviously deep concern about uh, knife attacks across the country and that's why the Prime Minister has said that that is a moral mission to address this but I think for today the issue really is about Southport and the issue is about the families who have been affected uh, in this case and all of us praying for the injured children and for the little children who have been lost. Like millions of others I was utterly appalled as the story unfolded yesterday and we clearly have an enormous problem in the UK with these knife sword, bladed weapon rampages. In just recent weeks, we had one in Hainault where a 14-year-old boy was murdered and two police officers suffered horrific life-changing injuries. A man's been charged in connection with that. I won't mention it any further. But if we go back to the 13th of June last year, Nottingham, Valdo Calacane with his murderous knife rampage where he claimed the lives of Grace Barnaby, Ian, an injured, seriously injured, a number of other people. There is a massive problem. Knife crime has risen by 78% in the last decade. And that's just the crimes that are reported and the authorities know about. The problem is even wider than that because so many people are carrying knives and not being detected. The time has come now for policing to look at what they're doing and move heaven and earth to get more police officers onto the streets patrolling and utilising stop and search as and when appropriate. Because that is one thing that will serve as some form of deterrent, I hope, and may, of course, lead to the arresting of people carrying knives. It's beyond, beyond compare what is going on now and something drastic and urgent has to be done.